our lovely Nicole. And still to come, former Hollyoaks and Strictly star Ali Bastian will be live in the studio. <laughs> Love those guys! Right, we've got a couple more superstars to come. We'll be finding out how a load of your favourite celebs are preparing, or oh, panicking rather, with just two days left till Christmas. <laughs> it's scary. Now though, we've got a lovely guest joining us, a woman of many talents. She made her name in Hollyoaks, strutted her stuff on the Strictly dance floor, and is now in the theatre, darling. It is of course the lovely Ali Bastian! Hello, thank you. Nice introduction. It is lovely to have you here, Ali. Thank you very much much for coming in I want to ask you strictly just been on did you get jealous watching it <laughs> and not being involved in your ball I was gowns? just doing it in the living room Were you? really yeah I mean, no, it brought back loads of memories it was amazing I, I thought actually maybe I wouldn't watch this year because obviously it took over my life last Christmas but I got totally hooked on it completely mm -hmm. and utterly I'm so happy that Cara won I was absolutely oh, rooting oh, for her that's good. and the training is so intense do you miss the training do you keep it up at all I do I mean at the time we were training like eight or nine hours a wow. day and then I went on afterwards to do a show in the West End burn the floor yes mm. um, so it was a lot of training for that I was dancing every minute of every day um, so it's nice now to just I just do classes really um, I train at Karen Hardy's studio oh, do which you? is lovely Karen, yeah I do um, so it's really nice for me to sort of keep it up but how many hours a week then? Yeah, like one or two yes that's, mm. yeah so it's, it's well, when, you were, more manageable. when you were doing the burn the floor show in the West End was that easier or harder than Strictly harder I was think. it harder but so enjoyable and so rewarding it was an, a huge challenge yeah. um, but you know in the run up to that we were rehearsing 15 hours a day and, and then eight shows a week afterwards um, so incredibly hard work but the most amazing company to work yeah. with and it was a dream job just brilliant I really miss them all actually they're touring around the states now but just a fantastic company well you are back to your roots these days with I acting am. and you're on tour at the minute in an Agatha Christie play I'm in just January rehearsing at the minute. Ah, yeah. you're rehearsing at the kicks minute. off um, January the 10th in Windsor Oh. Um, and we're touring all over the place. Tell, uh, tell us what what it is. It's set in the fifties, I believe. Yeah, it's set sort of late fifties. It's uh, it's Agatha Christie play Verdict. Mm -hmm. It's not your usual. I don't. I think people coming expecting to see a murder mystery will have a surprise. It's um, it's very different from her other plays. I'm enjoying it so much. The costumes are amazing. We had our fittings the other day. I play sort of really. Um, she's very well-to-do, wealthy, sort of socialite. And uh, what's your costumes like? What do you get oh, to wear? Yeah. Um, I've got a few different ones. I've got. Oh Are you got a beehive? <laughs> I haven't got a beehive. Oh. No, but I've got a really nice set, set for my hair. So I feel really ladylike, and obviously red lips and strong eyeliner and all that sort of mm. thing. It's just fit. It's very glamorous. You're going to look fabulous. Thank well, you. Is it quite nerve-wracking doing the live stuff? Because of course there isn't a lot of room for error, or do you really thrive on the excitement and adrenaline of it all? I think doing Strictly and then going on to do yeah. the show after that just gave me a real hunger for that live performance again. Um, so I'm just really up for it. I'm really, really enjoying the experience. I do. I, I love telly, and see that was what I was doing before, and you know I look forward to doing that again. But this is a really nice challenge. Mm. And what about going on tour away from your friends and family? Mm. Do, do like the people that you're working with become your adopted family? Totally. Do you become really, really tight. It's really nice them? actually because we all bonded. We've got such a great cast on this. as Dawn Steele, um, Robert Duncan, uh, Matthew Lewis, who's on Harry Potter. Oh yeah. Um, and straight away we all bonded um, but it is when you meet for the first time and you go in there it's like hey mm. I'm, this is going to be your new family for the next six months um, but it's fantastic we, we got to know you on uh, Hollyoaks and you played Becca are you still a fan of the show do you still watch it I haven't seen it for a while I have to tune in and see what everybody's up to um, but I loved working on that that was a really fantastic show to work on really sort of cut my teeth there I started there when I was 19 and wow. made some amazing friends on that job as well because again so intense and mm. you're all thrown in together working every hour under the sun um, but yeah great place great place to learn really so if you could just do one job choosing between uh -huh. acting on stage acting on screen and doing your dancing what do you think it would be that's, that's a tough call, call. One, isn't it? <laughs> yeah I don't know I mean I did long runners for a long time obviously um, did Hollyoaks and then went on to the bill and when I left the bill I thought I really just want things to be as varied as yes. possible mm. and uh, and that's how it's been I just feel really lucky that I've got you know mm. got to do the dancing and doing a show like Strictly you really you come away from that with another string to your bow and that's a really incredible thing and then um, you know to be having the opportunity I don't know I want to do everything, everything. I want to try it all 
Oh, yeah. Have it all. But uh, you mentioned Car and Autumn earlier, yeah. and it was really lovely when they won because they openly came out and said how they feel about each other. Yeah. What is it about yes. Strictly that makes so many people end up getting together with their partners? I think it's you work so closely together. You work really, really intensely, and um, and also I work with Artem on uh, burn the floor. Actually, he oh, was in that you? as well. He's such a lovely guy, and Cara is such a beautiful girl. Yeah. And I'm kind of not surprised they hit it off. So mm. I think that's the BBC probably putting together two two perfect ah, people. Really, maybe they do that. Do you reckon? Maybe, they maybe. Enjoy maybe. It a little bit? I, I want to ask you though, Ali, because is it not a bit embarrassing? You know, you sort of walk in, you've just met this person, and then you've got to dance really close to. Them and it's quite an intimate thing. Do you not think this is a bit intense? Yeah, certainly. I mean, obviously, you're in very close proximity. Um, I, 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 yeah, I don't know really. I think it's something you have to, it's a process you have to go through actually breaking down those barriers in a way so you can get used to close. I think sometimes the sportsmen actually find that a bit harder because mm. I think for actors we're used to kind of throwing ourselves into that yeah, situation yeah. and being in each other's space. It's not as unusual but I think sometimes for other people coming into it it can feel really, really alien. Yeah. And just quickly Ali, tell us um, where you're going to be going on tour with Verdict, your Agatha Christie play. Well, it kicks off um, in January, wins uh, uh, you can look actually on the website www.kenwright.com oh, yeah. um, for the whole list of venues um, and we're going off all over the place Bath, um, Cheltenham Cardiff, can't think of it everywhere, Wolverhampton <laughs> oh. yeah, you name it, we're going there so. tour well, of the country Yes. good luck with that Ali and thank you very much for coming in and a very Merry Christmas to you the lovely Ali Bastion thank you. Thank you very much.